Hey guys, welcome back and today we are going to discuss about another nursing diagnosis and care plan that is hypothermia. Hope you all know what is hypothermia, decreased body temperature that is hypothermia. So hypothermia say, athermia, is a state in which core body temperature is below the normal range of 36.5 to 37 degrees Celsius or 97.7 to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So you know the normal temperature is between 36.5 to 37 degrees Celsius and if your body temperature is uh, what going below this range means that is called hypothermia. Okay, so uh, the subjective characteristics, what the patients will uh, say about the situation are an individual may report feeling of lethargy and confusion, uh, uh, changes in the mental status or uh, feeling cold to touch. And what you can observe means you can observe shivering, uh, sometimes may display an abnormal pulse rate as well as decrease in blood pressure. Skin may become pale and cool and display uh, uh, of non febrile seizures activity as a result of hypothermia. So, what is hypothermia? Hypo means decreased, hypo means increased, hypothermia, decreased temperature. So, while coming to the nursing diagnosis, you can write the nursing diagnosis depend upon the condition of your patient. There will be a lot of reasons for hypothermia. So, you have to check your case sheet or you have to talk to the patient or the team to understand what is the exact reason behind hypothermia. Thermia. So you can write these examples or you can write, you can pick the uh, condition from this. So from this list, you can see a list here. Risk for hypothermia related to exposure to cold environment or risk for hypothermia related to impaired thermoregulation or risk for hypothermia related to decreased metabolic rate or uh, medical conditions like sepsis or hypothyroidism or age related changes in the thermoregulation. So depend upon the condition of your patient, you have to write. Also, you can write this hypothermia nursing diagnosis in another way that is ineffective thermoregulation related to the same thing, decreased subcutaneous tissues or decreased physical activity. And also you have to add as evidence to buy the symptoms. So while writing your nursing uh, diagnosis in a proper way, in a complete way, complete form, you can write like this. Risk for hypothermia related to exposure to cold environment as evidenced by shivering and abnormal pulse rate. Okay. Or another example. Risk for hypothermia related to medical conditions like sepsis or hypothyroidism as evidenced by febrile seizures and abnormal blood pressure. So while writing the disease condition, either you have to write sepsis or hypothyroidism. If the patient is having both sepsis and hypothyroidism, you can write both. Otherwise, you have to write sepsis or hypothyroidism or any other condition. Okay, don't write all the disease condition in one nursing uh, diagnosis. And after that, you have to write the care plan. While writing the care plan, you have to follow this format, assessment, diagnosis, planning, rational, implementation, and evaluation. You have to write all these columns. Okay. In assessment, what you will write? Subjective data and objective data. What is subjective data? What the patient says about their condition or what's the complaint of the patient that is subjective data. What is objective data? What you have observed from the patient's situation that is objective data. So here I've written like this. The patient complains that he or she feels shivering and giddiness. Okay, that is a patient complaint. What is objective data? The patient looks dull and tired and the evidence of abnormal pulse and blood pressure that I have observed from the patient. Next thing, in next column, you have to write two things. First one is diagnosis. Second one is uh, goal. So I've just written an example. Risk for hypothermia related to medical conditions, okay, as evidenced by febrile seizure and abnormal blood pressure. And what is a goal? The patient will maintain normal body temperature and vital signs. So the patient will maintain that 36.5 to 37.5 degree Celsius. Then next is planning. First planning is as uh, do history collection and physical examination. Okay, do history collection and physical examination and check the vital signs frequently. Check the vital signs frequency. That's very, very important. So check the vital signs frequently for what? To understand the general condition of the patient. Okay, and you can write in evaluation, assess temperature, pulse, respiration, and oxygen saturation. What you have assessed that you can write. Next, planning. Do physical examination. What for what to know the present situation of the patient. Done physical examination and observe like cyanosis, pale or cool skin. What you have observed that you can write there. Next, do mental status examination. For example, like confusion, drowsiness or any slurred speech or anything that you can observe. To reduce the stress and discomfort. Done mental status examination and found out like drowsiness, confusion and slurred speech. Then rewarm the patient. Okay, hypothermia means decreased body temperature. So uh, the main planning is 
or main aim is to warm the patient so rewarm the patient okay warm iv fluids heated oxygen or warm humidified air anything you can give to the patient depend upon the condition of the patient for what to maintain the body temperature done passive rewarming like blanket heated room and active internal rewarming like iv fluids heated oxygen so what you have given to your patient to rewarm the patient that you can write in the implementation so sometimes just blanket sometimes a heated room heater sometimes internal rewarming is necessary in that case we'll uh, would give oxygen okay or hot oxygen or sometimes iv fluids etc etc so depend upon the situation what you have implemented that you can write in implementation the next thing is perform cardiac monitoring very very important because basically in this condition you will see abnormal blood pressure abnormal pulse abnormal vital signs and uh, there are chances of uh, impairment in the cardiac function like abnormal variation in the cardiac functioning so you should check the cardiac monitoring frequently for what to know the risk like arrhythmias bradycardia or vert uh, ventricular fibrillation performed frequent cardiac monitoring next monitor fluid balance very very important the patient's body temperature is less there will be uh, some electrolyte imbalance and maybe the patient is not in a proper diet and uh, liquid intake so definitely fluid imbalance you have to check to prevent the fluid imbalance to understand the signs of hypovolemic and dehydration monitor fluid uh, fluid balance and you can administer the fluid depend upon the condition of the patient then teach the patients about the importance of appropriate clothing in cold weather that's very very important sometimes you know the cold weather can lead to hypothermia there won't be any reasons so teach the patients to cover the body properly to maintain the regular temperature okay to prevent the complications given health education to the patient then given medication as per the doctor's order that's very very important sometimes we need to administer some medication if the temperature is very low and abnormal cardiac uh, functioning or abnormal vital signs or something means definitely the doctor or the physician or the prescribe they'll prescribe some medication okay given medication as prescribed and in evaluation you can write the patient maintain normal body temperature and vital signs and very simple nursing care plan so this is about hypothermia guys hope you understand next time with uh, another nursing diagnosis and care plan thank you bye bye